Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. It's been a while, we've been sick, and we're continuing our bins journey. This is me again in the cart. This is our second day in the morning still, I believe. So this bins is in Missouri, Bridgeton, Missouri. They are open from 10 to one, and then they are open from three to six. So we're in the 10 to one rotation right now. We got there right when it opened. I'm not buying these scissors, but I found a use for these scissors in the bin. So I went ahead and picked them up to cut string and stuff. That's how you get the good bins. Yeah. Um, there's also, you can kind of tell in my cart, there was a possum tail. I'm kind of into stuffed possums. So I bought that for myself. That is not to resell. This is the first time I hit the close at all. And I think we're almost two hours into the three hours. So I didn't even hit the close until after everyone else had already gone through them. Oh I, man, they're secondhand clothes. <coughs> sorry, um, we're still recovering. But the, I, I will say, I don't know if someone took all the good stuff already, but there was not great brands there. We kind of find that where we are compared to like other bins in like Colorado and stuff where people are finding like really neat brand stuff. We're finding like Kohl's and JCPenney and stuff like that. I do pick that up. That's a flannel. I actually pick it up for my mother. She resells them and uses them for her own personal use. Uh, again, eyes odd. This is just, but I'm picking this stuff up for um, my son who had a growth spurt and for myself because I shrank. Um I like to think they're going to wonder what the personal use is. I'm going to go with puppet shows. No. <laughs> but, uh, again, this is at, this is how much clothes is left after, like, people ran straight back to the clothes and to the shoes. Those were very sought after. I will say, I think it was in the afternoon, the evening section. Yeah. I found a really nice jacket that someone just over, like, bypassed it was just a black like sport jacket but it sells for like fifty dollars used and i don't know if that was just too low of a bar but you can kind of see the rest of the clothes so there's maybe four or five rows of clothes i'm mainly looking for vintage sheets at this point and clothes for our family i can't pull off hazard yellow <clears throat> i couldn't figure out what these pants were I ended up looking them up. They, they're they like a outfitter brand. A lot of clothes these days look like outfitter too. Like that's the style. Yeah. Well, and that's one of the reasons I had to look them up too. The I ended up picking up these for myself. There are lots of suit coats. If you need a suit coat though, they're like this whole bin was full of suit coats. I pick up, I think I pick up that coat or I pick up another blue coat that's vintage. I picked up a vintage blue puffer coat at some point. I don't think it's that coat though. Like Old Navy, again, this is very mall brands. This is not like hitting it out of the park, even though we are right across the street from a Cabela's. So I thought we'd have like decent outdoor brands. I just, I don't know. I don't find the clothes as interesting. I'm not sure I touched a clothes bin while I was there. The hard goods were too appealing. Alluring. Well, there were so many hard good bins. It was so nice. And if anybody knows that this is a good brand, you know, you'll be mad at me for putting it back. Sorry. I don't know Casey. I know Casey and JoJo. I did like that coat. and That was a Target Morona brand coat. But I was like, man, if it was a different size, I would have got it for myself because it was a nice coat. And there wasn't a lot of vintage clothes, period, there. Again, though, I am, everyone else's, I, as you can tell, I've just been to myself. Everyone else has already been through this. It's because she has the scissors. It is because I have the scissors. There was a guy collecting knives, so the, I don't think I was the biggest threat with the scissors. I possibly was hula hooping at this time, so I obviously was. He could have been hula hooping. Or sword fighting. I did both. It's a multi 
event day. Also, one of the things I don't like, and this has screwed us over on dress clothes before, is a lot of people get their dress clothes tailored. And if they're tailored really well, you don't know. I do pick these up because they have tags on them. But if they're tailored really well, then you just don't know that. Um, I picked that up, that Columbia raincoat, uh, but for personal use. Um, Columbia is always solid. It, it's solid. However, uh, a lot of people get Vero'd on eBay for selling Columbia new with tags. But it was like the brand when we were kids. So like, I think there's some nostalgia in there too, to be honest. And it's a, it's a brand that typically holds up. Especially with outdoor stuff. I know the fleece is kind of oversaturated, but outdoor um, raincoats and stuff, especially in different sizes, that raincoat I picked up was a medium, was an adult medium. And that was actually for my daughter, who is getting heavy into scouts and needs, like, rain gear and stuff. I did not realize you picked up this many suit coats. I, th- there were so many suit coats. It was just suit coats everywhere. And I was going through and looking at all the sizes. And that is my huge cart, and I go to a corner and dump it all out pretty soon. And then my husband goes through and picks Anchors through. Anchors away. And picks through what I dumped out on accident. Yeah, it was an anchor, and it went away. Yeah, this is LuLaRoe. <laughs> Lula Throw. Yeah, Lula Throw. Don't buy Lula Row. It is horrible. I have a couple in our store that I'm just going to pull down pretty soon. Lula Go. Oh, Lula Go. Lula No. I know. That's how. I don't know. I, I regret They're not like picking that something. I regret not picking that up now. Graphic tees. Always like to pick them up. That's why I regret not picking them up. I couldn't figure out what this was. It was St. Louis Cardinals, but I couldn't figure out, like, men's, women's, child's. And if I don't know the size, a lot of times I won't pick it up at all because I don't know the size. Now watch me prove me wrong in the next five minutes of tape, but I don't feel like there was a lot of St. Louis stuff, period, which is odd. No, there wasn't. And we're like, we're you could, like, throw a ball and hit St. Louis. So, like, no, there was not a lot of, there wasn't a lot of sports stuff, period. Like, I feel like the Indiana Bins had a lot more sports stuff. Outside of hockey sticks. Tons of hockey sticks. Tons hockey of... sticks for days. But, Outside of that, no, not so much. But no, like, hockey jerseys. Because, I mean, like, we have the Cardinals and the Blues and stuff there. And I didn't feel like there was a lot of um, sports stuff anyway. Or even local sports. I felt like in when we go to the Indianapolis Bins, there's lots of local team stuff mm-hmm. that were like, oh, this is a good buy. And then we're like, oh, wait, it's like. University of Indiana and stuff is awfully big. Yeah. So but not here. No. Which that just may mean there was a fast figures before us too, to be fair. Yes. It's also like band shirts. You don't typically find them because most people at this point know if it's true vintage band shirt, it's I did pick good. this up. This is that was a vintage acrylic uh yellow sweatshirt or sweater. It'll do well. I haven't listed it yet. I haven't listed a lot of things because we had the plague for three weeks. So I was looking for myself for running shorts. And I do pick up two pairs of running shorts for myself when we're at the bins. I'm in hard goods, my happy place, during this entire episode. Well, and it's so hard after going to the bins and stuff to buy, like, retail for myself. I'll be like, no, next time I go to the bins, I'll just find it, right? Treasure hunt. Like, Adult mystery box. If I wanted a suit coat or leggings, I would have been set. I can't pull off leggings with a suit coat. It's, an, it's a risky look. I could probably pull it off. I end up using this bag because, again, like we've said in previous videos, they do not have bags here. We have a vineyard vines bag? I didn't know yeah. <coughs> yeah, we have a vineyard vines bag. That's a whale of a good time. Yeah. I didn't get any vineyard vines clothes, but I got the bag, so... I don't think I've ever touched a vineyard vine clothes uh, we have the football and we had the it's the whales of football and then oh yeah do we still have it though this mm, maybe oh i wish i would have um picked that up too the crocs, crocs. baby crocs baby crocs but they weren't real crocs baby alligators uh, baby uh, alligator they were alligators See you later. Get it? Is that all good? Okay. The, um, 
lots of curtains. I also found curtains, but not like good curtains, not like vintage curtains. Out for Dunner surprisingly sells well. <laughs> People knock out for Dunner, but. I feel like there's got to be a good craft for like aftermarket curtains. Like My kid wore those pants to school the other day. He's styling. Bunch of records. Oh, I didn't see those. Yeah. Is that a gunslinger? Oh, I bought all these. I put them in my cart to look them up, and I never looked them up. They're professional harmonicas. <laughs> I put them in there and forgot. Honkin' on Bobo. Professional harmonicas. Did you just make an Aerosmith reference? Props to you. Um... The did not think you'd get that one. Boom. I'm still in hard goods. <laughs> He's still in hard goods. Maybe books at this point. No, really hard goods. I mean, it really. I didn't go to books to the very end, and then I regretted that because books are so hard to not say no to. I'm going. I just need to make it to the end of the aisle before I can dump my cart out, and people are starting to look at me funny because my cart is leaning. Also, did you know Rue 21 is closing all their stores? So I wonder if that stuff will be, like, Aeropostale became more desirable after they closed because people are like, man, those jeans are my favorite jeans, and they want to buy those jeans. The, um, yeah, just wasn't impressed with clothes. Is Structure still a brand? I think so. Maybe. I had a Structure polo that was a tight fit. Tight as in good or tight as in, as oh my in God, good. it was tight. Okay. I mean, I was skinnier then, so tight would have been tight. Too I good. almost bought that because I love cats. Like, I am contemplating it. Was it a bag? No, a it was a placemat. What do you do with placemats when they're not on a table? Someone I'm... should think of something to do with placemats when they're on a table. Like, horrible floor mats? I don't know. Yeah. It just seems like a waste of space if it's on a table. You can only have four, six, eight. I mean, 12 if you're in mansion, I yeah. guess. I always look at those stupid sweaters for um, Lululemon. Like the weird cut sweaters, sweatshirts. They do weird things. Like they have weird cuts in them? Yeah. Like they're just oddly designed. Like one side's longer than the other. Or the hood is like asymmetric or something stupid. I want to make a brand. It's called uh, Wood Chipper hey, Sweaters. Hey, there's one blue has cuts sweater. cuts in funny places. What's this? Like. Triple I don't. Lakes. Lakes Clife? I don't know. Lakes are Clife. Lakes are also Clife. There was one blues shirt in there. Hey, was that my size? I would take a nap. <laughs> work makes me dress up professionally. I don't like it. My work doesn't. I wore an astronaut's cat shirt the other day to work. And Chuck's. I have to wear dress shoes. It's an unfair world. Get jeans, astronaut's cats, and Chuck's. Este Parks, Colorado was that shirt. People love that place. It's supposed to be gorgeous out there. We should go there. I'm cool with that. Oh, I like those pants. I bought them for myself. I wore them the other day. Did you say Izzy Skinny on it? Yeah. Can I come up with jean names? Because apparently there's like no bar. Yeah, it's kind of low. Common Bull? No. I don't know. See, you're getting all the clothes experience because you didn't do clothes. Yeah, I didn't touch it. Spoiler alert, still didn't touch it. Still in hard goods. Probably hula hoopy. I'm pretty sure. This is the coat I get. This is a vintage down coat. And I picked that up. And I got the smell out. It had a distinct smell to it. This bids didn't have an unpleasant aroma. It did not, but some of the clothes... Came Close from a house do. that probably had a bit of a, bit of a. Close sometimes have mold a mold The there's a cardinal's bag. <laughs> Out to sea. There was a bunch of VHS. Which I hate passing up, but that's also a bit of nostalgia. But you pay per by inch. You know, VHS were a certain price, weren't they? By inch, which was one VHS was 10 cents. Oh, okay. 
Again, how do you pass up 10 cents? It's because, where do you do with VHS this big? What kind of animal is that? I don't know. Porcupine? Monkey? I feel it deserves better than to be in a tub like that. It should be in the basket. Now, am I trucking to go through my stuff, or am I going through more bins because my cart is so full? It's hard to pass up Rose, though. I bought that. It's vintage, but I bought it for myself. It's a cat pillowcase. I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> oh, you will. But, like, honestly, if I went to these bins, if you're not a clothes seller, just forego the clothes. Or wait till everyone else goes through that and leisurely go through them like I am. I think I was, I don't think I ever shared a bin with somebody. That's what we did with the books. You can hang with me in the hard goods, because that's where I was. Still and this am. is me starting to go through stuff. Is that a mushroom? Yeah, I have the mushroom too. 